Munstead Wood was uh, created by Gertrude Jekyll, the uh, famous garden designer, and uh, this was her own home. And it was here that she carried out all her experiments and breeding of plants. And um, she bought this uh, 15 acres of land in uh, the 1880s. It was here that uh, she really created show gardens because uh, all around the house you have these sort of rooms as we rather tend to call them now and this is where she was um, displaying and showing off her plants to her clients. Beyond the house there were also all her experimental beds and her nurseries and her reserve gardens. So all the gardens that she designed she supplied the plants for as well and they were literally by the hundred. It wasn't just one or two, it was uh, in bulk. And she lived here for well over 50 years. She died in uh, 1932. The gardening year really here starts um, under the nut walk where it is um, underplanted with hellebores. And then after the, they've been in flower, the primrose garden comes into flower, which is sort of early springtime. And uh, Miss Jekyll was well known for her Munstead Bunch, which was a type of uh, primrose she bred. After the primrose garden has been in flower, the spring garden comes into its own then. Drifts of wallflowers and um, tulips and all sorts of spring planting. When the, the spring garden's over, the early summer garden comes into its own, and that's full of irises, phlox, lupins, and yuccas and euphorbias, and that's really quite a sort of a riot of early summer colour. From about sort of uh, early July time through to about September, October. Then the, the main border, her famous main border, takes over. That was the feature of the garden that she's most well known for. It's 200 feet long and uh, it's backed with an 11-foot wall and uh, it's designed so the colours start off, all the pale colours and uh, all the silver leaf plants from the left-hand side and then increasingly the colours in the border get um, hotter and hotter to a crescendo in the middle of these uh, bright vibrant colours of um, scarlets and oranges and yellows and then the colours sort of uh, cool down again. There again, she's also um, displaying her love of uh, exotic plants and also leaf textures are so important to her. She'll have begonia leaves um, in front of the spiky yuccas. I think gardens reflect the owners of the house. It's rather like the inside of somebody's house. Um, if it's sort of plain and just a television in there and a few prints on the wall, that's not my sort of person I want to know. Um, I think a garden definitely reflects the owner. No, I like a, a bit of a jumble, a lot of colour, a lot of variety. Fun. I think a garden should be fun.